Soon anyone on earth will have the ability to upgrade their intelligence just by connecting their brain with a machine interface. And this BMI will probably be up for sale by the end of next year, which was also mentioned by Elon Musk at a recent Neuralink presentation. We, we hope to uh, have this uh, aspirationally in, in a human patient um, before the end of next year. So this is not, not far. A brain machine interface which will enable its users to access every word ever written, every picture, every video, all the information in the world instantaneously. And those users will also be able to work much faster. Imagine if you are able to do a year's worth of work in a couple of weeks. That means you will be able to earn more, which will give you financial freedom, the life you always wished for, and much sooner than you had imagined. A nice house, a nice car, all the money you want because obviously if you have superhuman intelligence making money and paying off your debts should not be a problem so if money is not the issue then simply put whosoever chooses will be able to acquire this precious resource we call intelligence billions of people can come online and i think that is what elon musk plans to do this is not a matter of earning power because your earning power would be vastly greater after you do it and let's say billions of people do it then the outcome for humanity will be the sum of human will. So will Elon Musk be able to convince a billion people to put a chip inside their brain? I believe no matter how bizarre it may sound, if anyone in this world can convince a bunch of people to put a device in their skull, it's Elon Musk. This will definitely be a civilization level event, which could change humanity as we know it. Obviously, it will take some time. Let's say a hundred thousand people agree to put these chips in their brains. Some people might just want to enhance cognitive abilities. Some are going to be big fans of Elon Musk who have been following all these developments since the beginning and know where this train is heading. Some might just be gamers and want to play video games in their heads or maybe people just tired of the system in place which puts them at a disadvantage or maybe people who are transhumanists people who believe that the next step in human evolution will be a technological one not a biological one so just for the sake of an argument a hundred thousand people start using this new brain machine interface and then after a little while new starts rolling out like intellectually enhanced Steven who used to be a low skill labor earning less than three thousand dollars a month is now a multi-millionaire thanks to Neuralink. People start talking, the internet starts buzzing, but then it becomes more frequent. Another millionaire, then a billionaire, then someone makes something amazing. Maybe a real life Iron Man suit. They have all the money in the world, they have the best stuff. If they don't have it because it hasn't been made yet, they make it. But then something else happens. One artificially enhanced human dies, and then his mind is uploaded to a computer. And behold, the first digital immoral. And then people may decide that they want to retain their biological self or not. Versus some sort of Ray Kurzweil scenario where they download themselves into a computer? You will be essentially snapshotted into a computer at any time. If your biological self dies, you could just probably just upload into a new unit. Now death is only an option. Now you have the option to upload your brain in a computer just by making a digital copy of your brain. What it will be like to live in a computer, I guess we will know that soon enough through first-hand experience. And if everyone can become Iron Man or a digital immoral, who wouldn't go for it? Who can refuse such an offer, such an enhancement? Well, maybe people who are religious and don't want to alter their bodies. Or maybe people who don't want other people putting chips in their bodies and tracking their thoughts. So you can keep making these divisions and separate the naysayers who don't do it. But there is still a large majority of people who won't mind, who are just going to wait and see where this is heading. And if they like what they see, they are going to jump on board. And they might say it's just like having a laptop or a phone, because that's what Elon Musk has compared this technology with. We can have a tertiary layer, which is the kind of a digital superintelligence layer. And in fact, you, you already have this layer. So it's your phone and your laptop. But obviously there is a difference in holding a device in your hands and putting one in your brain. In one situation you have a computer or a processor based device in your hand and in the other situation you are the processor. The link is just a delivery system for the information and this system that will be installed will have the ability to alter your mind. The system even in version 1 that we're uh, going to unveil today is capable of, of a thousand times more uh, electrodes than the, uh, the, the best system out there. 
and they're all read and write. That means that not only the system will be able to read your mind, your thoughts, but will also be able to write on your mind. That sounds like a computer to me. And if that's the case, then maybe it can also delete memories from your brain, just like a computer. The main purpose, according to Elon Musk, for developing this technology is to merge man and machine for a better aligned future, so that ultimately humans can merge with AI, something he has said many times. Yeah, this is going to sound pretty weird, but um, achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. There are obviously many questions a person can ask at this point, like how can you be prepared for something that has not been created yet? It is estimated that an AGI or an artificial general intelligence will not be created for another 50 years. Scientists usually say that about things that they have no idea when they will be resolved. But the word that I would like to focus on right now is bandwidth to show you just a part of the bigger picture and the gravity of the situation. The thing that will ultimately constrain our ability to uh, be symbiotic with AI is bandwidth. According to Elon Musk, in order to merge with an AI, we need a high bandwidth interface. But won't people also need a good internet connection for that device to work? Like how will people in Africa or even some parts of Europe and America be able to link up and come online without a high speed internet connection? Well ladies and gentlemen, this is Starlink. Starlink is another project by Elon Musk in which his company SpaceX is expected to launch almost 12,000 satellites which will cover the entire globe and provide internet 50% faster than fiber optic cables. So when he says that he wants to put this chip in a billion people, he is not just saying it, he really means it. And preparations are ongoing on a global scale and the first string of Starlink satellites has already been launched. There is still obviously much here that needs to be discussed and I will continue this discussion on this channel along with other important subjects. So if you are not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, do let me know by pushing that like button. And you can also help me out for free by sharing this video with your friends and family so we can all join in for a healthier discussion. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. It's not gonna be like suddenly uh, Neuralink will have this incredible neural lace and start taking over people's brains, okay? It will take a long time. <laughs> um, so, and, and, and you'll see it coming.